Today's video is going to be very short, because frankly, Jack from Jupiter as a character is fairly scarce within the boys' show and comic books. In the boys' comics, Jack from Jupiter is one of the members of the Seven. He was actually replaced in the show in the first season by Translucent, who was made up and not actually in the comics, just used for the show. Now, Jack from Jupiter was only in the show kind of in an Easter egg in the seventh episode of the second season, when Lamplighter and Huey are hanging out watching, uh, porn. All of the videos that Lamplighter was making Huey watch were parodies based off the superhero team, the Seven. In a blink and you'll miss it type moment, eagle-eyed fans of the boys will have caught a glimpse of Jack from Jupiter. Who knows if this may end up being an indication that he will be a more prominent character in the future, or if it was just a neat little easter egg. But before we go any further, we are giving away a few copies of The Boys Volume 1, and all you have to do in order to win a copy is be a subscriber and follow both me and Nick on Twitter. It's pretty simple, all the details are pinned in the comment section below. Now, back to the video. Jack from Jupiter's first appearance is The Boys, number four, along with most of the rest of the members of The Seven. Jack's appearance is a clear homage to Martian Manhunter from DC Comics. Even his name has like a similar ring to it. Jack from Jupiter, Martian Manhunter. Jack is described as a sexual deviant and a vehement racist, like 90% uh, of the characters in The Boys. <laughs> he is often shown insulting other members of The Boys and haggling for more money despite being the least used member of the team. His powers are fairly open to interpretation because he doesn't really get in many battles or have any reason to use them. We know he can fly as he is shown in multiple panels flying in the comics. He also has abilities tied to using the word carpo. Whenever he utters this word, it buffs him in various ways, presumably strength and durability. Additionally, we know he has heat vision, but has a really poor grasp on how to use it based off the events that took place on 9-11. Jack was part of the original team of the Seven, as we mentioned earlier, that had the confrontation with Colonel Mallory and the boys that led to the death of Mallory's grandchildren at the hand of Lamplighter. Not much is known about any missions or heroic acts that Jack has completed because, again, he is the least discussed or represented member of the Seven. Homelander and the rest of the Seven don't treat him very well, and because of that, he tends to lash out like a child. The only thing he really seems to enjoy doing is rare and expensive drugs, as well as indulging in various sexual escapades. The only true arc that centered around Jack from Jupiter was between issues 56 and 59, titled The Big Ride. When a transgender sex worker is found killed, the boys begin an investigation that leads to Jack from Jupiter. After questioning a sex worker, the boys find out that they are being led specifically toward Jack from Jupiter as the target. However, he didn't actually commit the crime. Butcher finds out that someone paid a junkie sex worker 10 grand to lie to the boys, presumably to force them down the path of confrontation with Jack. Regardless of the false lead, footage leaks of Jack having sex with multiple sex workers, which is obviously bad for his brand. The subsequent embarrassment leads Jack to freak out at the remaining members of the Seven, claiming that it was the boys who leaked it. Homelander immediately puts things into perspective for Jack and informs him that there is a good chance that he is going to be kicked out of the Seven for being so careless. Jack starts slinging racial slurs, gets kind of crazy, and, you know, starts a confrontation with the Deep, who in the comics is a black man. The Deep doesn't take Jack's comments lightly, and they end up fighting. The Seven and the boys eventually meet up, trying to get more information about the leak. The two determine that someone is trying to force them into a cataclysmic showdown, and the two teams determine that it would suit them best to investigate. Jack, however, freaks out that the boys weren't responsible for leaking the footage, and he's so sure that it was them, he gets angry, and he storms off. The boys go out to dinner, have to celebrate, and have to blow off steam. When they return back to their hideout, they find Butcher's dog, Terror, has been killed. Butcher tracks Jack down at the same brothel that he was visiting, and stabs him to death with a butcher knife, asking Jack why he killed his dog. Jack was stabbed so many times and so aggressively that he never had the chance to answer. Thus ended the life of Jack from Jupiter. 
And that's pretty much all we know about Jack from Jupiter in the comic book world. Now, we don't know if he's going to show up at any point again in the show, but it was a pretty cool Easter egg for the fans who have stuck with the comic book series. Remember to like and subscribe and don't forget to follow us on Twitter so you can enter to win the giveaway. That's all I've got for you guys today. Remember the motto, it's Jack from Jupiter over everything and I'll see you guys next time.